MCAT 2015 Cram Physical Foundations Question Flashcard 66 Vectors Vector Addition 4 Greatest Magnitude All right. Which of the following combinations of vector B minus vector A will result in the greatest magnitude? And just note that vector B is 10 units long and vector A is 15 units long, all right? Is it combination A, combination B, combination C, or combination D? Again, A is 15 units long and B is 10 units long. I'll give you a moment to think. Definitely press pause if you need to. All right. Okay, so for each of these four combinations, um, notice that in the question stem, we're asked for the summation of vector B minus vector A. So for each of the four combinations, A must be flipped, okay, in order to carry out the subtractive process. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is draw out each uh, answer choice to decide which one has the greatest magnitude. And think of the magnitude in terms of the resolution of the components in their vertical, or we can call it Y displacement, or their X horizontal displacement, okay? So let's start out with answer choice D. So here we're going to use the head-to-tail method. So we take the head of B and we subtract A from that. Of course, subtraction and vector addition is the same thing as addition. You just have to flip. it. Whatever is being um, subtracted. So see here, we flipped A. So we take, and then we carry out the normal head-to-tail method. The head-to-tail method is where you take the head of the first vector and you put that to the tail of the second vector being added or subtracted. And then you draw the resultant vector from the free tail to the free head, like so. Okay, so here, this could be like the hypotenuse of a right triangle. And we see that the horizontal displacement is going to be like 15. So this is a little bit more than 15, okay, because we know that the hypotenuse of a right triangle is a little longer than the longest leg. Okay, so that's our first consideration. Now, as for answer choice um, C, let's see what happens. So we have our B. We're going to place the head of B to the tail of A, and we draw our um, ve resultant vector from the free tail to the free head, and this combination shows considerable displacement in the y-axis, but in either axes, whether um, x or y, there's a considerable loss of displacement in either direction. So this won't surpass um, the approximate, you know, 16 or so units of this displacement. Um, so answer choice D is probably going to be eliminated. Well, it's, it is already eliminated because this seems to be greater than this, okay? And we're not, cons although we're talking about the displacement, we're just concerned with how much ground is traveled, so we're probably actually talking about distance. So displacement might be a misnomer, but whatever, we'll, we'll roll with it, okay? Now let's examine answer choice B, all right? So we put the free uh, head of B in this orientation to the free tail of negative A. Okay, notice we flipped A as well. And then we draw our resultant vector. So this is definitely going to be out because this um, is on par with this. Okay, and this vector combination shows considerable displacement in both the X and the y-axis, okay? 
its horizontal will be somewhat less than 15 units, and in the vertical, it'll be somewhat greater than 10. But um, let's continue to see what we have here. So we, we draw our B, then we put the free um, head of B to the tail of not A, but negative A. And wow, look at that. There's a lot of displacement in the um, Y direction, okay? So we draw the free tail, we draw the resultant vector from the free tail to the free head, and we see that the Y component will definitely add up to something greater than 15 units. And it looks like this vector combination. Vector combination A shows the greatest displacement, specifically in the Y or vertical direction. Okay.